Hello Vinyl community. Let's check out some of the records I have been listening to lately. Um, this little stack is basically all from Japan. So uh, maybe you will see something interesting or unusual. Um, let's start with, uh, with the album that has probably the most hilarious cover in music history. I'm talking about the 19... 77 album by Akiko Yano. The album's title is Iroani Kompeto and uh, it took me quite a while to figure out what the title is all about because uh, it's not that easy one to translate but um, actually um, it's a it's a children rhyme so uh, it's probably as strange to explain as if if, an, for example, an English band had put out an album that's called Humpty Dumpty, that would be kind of tough to explain to someone from East Asia. <laughs> so um, this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful record by Aki Koyano, one of her early work. She has oftentimes been compared to Kate Bush, although um, this here is certainly older than Kate Bush. This came out 1977. Kate Bush's first album came out 1978. Um, I mean, the cover is completely insane uh, and very blurry in terms of uh, originality and very bad taste. Um, Aki Koyano is a composer and singer and piano player. And since I'm quite a nerd, I even created my own uh, album inlay for this one um, with all kind of information. So. Um, that's why I can tell you that you will, for example, encounter Haruomi Hosono on this album playing bass guitar. Uh, there are there's a lot of doing by Hideki Matsutake, who uh, is a uh, well, he was sort of the go-to electronic guy for Yellow Magic Orchestra, uh, setting up all those uh, uh, complex analog synthesizer systems. Um, yeah, um, I really like this music. It's a, uh, it's a, it's 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 a fresh, uh, little bit whimsical sound that, uh, in parts, it's the kind of sound you would expect if you are, if you would time travel back to the seventies and find yourself in a Japanese hotel bar, while other parts of the album present a rather electronic uh, edge to it, uh, as you would expect from a good album from the late 70s. So, uh, Akiko Yano, Iroani Kompeto. And uh, quite a logical segue to this man here, Futurista by Ryuichi Sakamoto, who was of course married to Akiko Yano for a very long time. Now this is a uh, album from uh, 19... 86, yes, <laughs> I thought so, but uh, it's the one album I re remember that kind of came out be between uh, the Illustrated Musical um, Encyclopedia Neo Geo, so between that two uh, periods, and um, it's, um, yeah, I, I like the album, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the more pop-oriented albums he made in the mid 80s um, it had some but it has some amazing compositions on it I think like Ballet Mechanique which is probably a, which has been for many years a sort of a standard uh, track to play in concerts um, it's a beautiful tune isn't it I and mean, it's very it's it's very ingeniously composed it's one of the best melodies actually you can uh, here from Ryuichi Sakamoto. So this is a good album. Futurista. Now very different atmosphere comes with the uh, Human Market by Toshinori Kondo. Jazz trumpet player from Japan. Uh, uh, very uh, no wave oriented. Uh, so uh, um, it's a lot of sort of harsh guitar playing on this, uh, so it's not a, it's not a smooth album. Um, it has a lot of edges and uh, it's quite interesting. Like uh, 
basically everything by Toshinori Kondo is quite interesting. Yeah, and it was released in 1989. And finally, the Southern All Stars SAS. Uh, this was a Japanese sort of a novelty music act uh, from uh, late 70s. This album is called Ten Numbers Karat. Uh, it's not. It's not particularly the kind of uh, music I would listen to a lot, just from time to time. Um, so it's sort of a, a cliche-infused uh, Japanese rock music from the 70s. But it comes with a really nice inlay here. Uh, so I just bought it because it was in a really nice condition for the archive, so to speak. Lyrics. So I think that's it for now. But as usual, I wanted to show you one CD. Uh, it's a bit of a novelty here too. Um, I think this came out in 1987, yes, on MIDI. This is uh, Ryuichi Sakamoto's EP, soundtrack EP to a anime, which was called Ail de Oneamis. So this whole thing is called Image Sketch of Ail de Oneamis. It has only four tracks on it, which are all called Prototype A, B, C and D. I think one of the tracks has vocals, the rest is instrumental. Uh, so it's very whimsical music. Um, it's uh, uh, it's what Sakamoto had done from time to time, creating sort of a mini soundtracks. Uh, I, mean, I mean, the most uh, the most uh, famous example would probably be his soundtrack to the movie um, Topazu, which I think in the West was called Tokyo Decadence, where he created like two themes. Each of one, each of the themes is uh, I think about. 15 seconds long, so it's the shortest soundtrack in the world altogether. Under a minute, I think. So it was never released, of course. Um, it would be a very uh, short adventure. So that's it for now. Um, I hope you, you found it somehow interesting. Um, I will do this again soon. And if you liked it for reasons whatsoever, don't hesitate to like the video or... Uh, Better, better still um, to to subscribe to my channel, so I can be a happy person, like the rest of the internet. Thanks a lot, and see you again soon. Bye bye.